Assalamu alaikum and Ramana Mubarak to everyone. I'm Gail Kennard and I'm pleased to share my reflections on the sixth juice. This juice covers the last part of Surah 4, which is Al Nisa, the women, and part of Surah 5, which is Al Maida, the table spread. I would like to focus on a theme that is common in both of these surahs in this juice. This issue has to do with the danger of confusing men and women with the divine, with Allah. I'm going to start by telling a story of my own childhood. When I was growing up in Los Angeles, I would see paintings, images of this man who I was told was Jesus Christ. He had long sandy hair, and he looked to me like some of the movie stars I saw in the Hollywood movies. Many families had his picture framed and hanging on walls in their homes. I was told that this was a picture of Jesus, and Jesus was the Son of God. Astaghfirullah. In this juice, in Surah 4, Ayat 171 that you see on the screen, the Quran tells us that Christ Jesus, or Prophet Isa, it tells us who he really is, or was. So, bismillah, I'll read this in the English. O people of the book, commit no excesses in your religion, nor say of God aught but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was no more than an apostle of God, and his word, which he bestowed on Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. So believe in God and his apostles, Say not, Trinity, desist, it will be better for you. For God is one God, glory be to him. Far exalted is he above having a son. To him belong all things in the heaven and on earth, and enough is God as a disposer of affairs. So there's so much in this ayat. First, this ayat is a clear condemnation against believing that any man is God. Jesus, Esau, was a man. He was the son of a woman, Mariam, Mary. Repeatedly, he is referred to in the Quran as the son of Mary, not the son of God. This concept is important because it addresses the issues that we continue to grapple with today, issues of gender and race. What am I talking about? Well, first, there's the issue of the concept of Mariam. Mariam is the vessel that births the apostle, Christ Jesus. This ayat shows us that Allah's word, his kalama, was sent by the angels to Mariam. She is the receiver of the word. Let me repeat that. Mariam is the receiver of the word, not Jesus. From her body comes her son, Christ Jesus, who has a spirit that proceeds from him from Allah. Mariam is not simply a physical vessel who births a human being. Mariam also receives Allah's word. Mariam is a female. Not only male prophets, but this human being who is female received Allah's word. This ayat contradicts the notion that only men who are prophets receive Allah's word. So that's one issue. The second is the issue of the images. Over centuries, European Christianity has propagated the idea that Jesus, the apostle, the prophet of Allah, is the son of God. This has been hugely harmful. We are told to believe that Jesus is the son of God and he looks like the paintings that I first saw as a child. All of us have seen these images churches, museums, art galleries, and of course his Christian homes. And here's the problem. If Jesus is represented as the son of God, and Jesus looks like a European man, then by inference, God must be a European man. Can you see how this is a problem? 
These images have been used to reinforce the superiority of Europeans and of men. If God is a European looking man, then everyone else who's not a European looking man is inferior. This thinking justifies racial hierarchies, the enslavement of African peoples, my ancestors. This thinking justified European colonialism. Many of your families survived colonization. This thinking justified the persecution of women. I'm a woman, I'm an African American. So for me particularly, I embrace the guidance of this ayat. It's very reassuring to me. This ayat tells me that Allah is not a man. Allah is not a woman. Allah doesn't look a certain way. Allah has no human physical traits. I am not inferior or less than others because I'm not European and I'm not male. Any images of the divine are false. So I was born in the middle of the 20th century. So I was raised with these ideas in the culture from the time I was a child. So today as a Muslim, how do I and how do we as Muslims respond to this? So I'm going to turn to the second ayah. Son of Mary was no more than an apostle. Many were the apostles that passed away before him. His mother was a woman of truth. They had both to eat their daily food. See how God doth make his signs clear to them, yet see in what ways they are deleted, deluded away from the truth. Sadaqallah We as Muslims could say that the Christians are the problem here. They are the ones who have and are propagating a false concept of who Allah is. They're the ones propagating the images. But I would say that even if all the images were removed, tomorrow the damage has been done. How do you undo centuries of these images? And that's our challenge now, to reverse the damage, first in ourselves, which is the hardest part, and then in the larger society. So as a Muslim, I start with myself. In what ways have I internalized European superiority? In what ways have I internalized gender superiority? As Muslims, we can't be so self-righteous to think that because we're Muslims, it's not our problem. We're not racist, right? We're not misogynist against women, right? But yes, we are. I admit it. First in myself, I have internalized European superiority and the inferiority of women. I can't help it. None of us can help. All of us have been influenced by a culture founded on the enslavement of other people based on racial hierarchy. We live in a culture that colonized non-European peoples in Asia, Africa, the Americas, Australia for centuries. These hierarchies are based on untruths. And again, I repeat from this ayat, see how Allah doth make his signs clear to them, yet see in what ways they are deluded away from the truth. Let us not be deluded away from this truth. Let us confront it. And so I challenge myself and I challenge you. So I will close. Jazakallah hair. May Allah forgive me for anything that I said that misrepresents his word. May Allah enlighten us with the miracle of his Quran in this blessed month.